This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A4E Skyhawk free mod and we're going to show using the CP741 bombing computer to do medium range standoff loft slash toss bombing on a defended target. We've got Cortana and Simba in planes here. Say hello guys. Hey. What's up? Each of us is equipped with 12 times Mark 82 slicks because these are absolute bomb trucks. The target is the bomb and put out of action this runway here with our combined 36 bombs. It's defended by Neon 20 strellers there. So this is an incredibly dangerous target. We're going to dive bomb it essentially and do a pull up toss bomb method that should allow us to drop the bombs before we get into the lethal range of these strellers, which is about three miles. Now, the faster you go and the higher you are, the longer you can toss. We can only get up to about 400 knots with these bombs on our plane, so we should just be able to do about three miles. If you're in an F-16 or something, it could go supersonic, then you can get kind of six or seven miles. In terms of the bombing method, what we're going to do is fly at the target in a dive pretty much as fast as we can get. We're going to maintain our reticle, which is there, over the target. In that configuration, the air-to-ground radar will lock and give us a slant range of that target area. The CP741 will give us an indication of when we are in range. When that happens, we will press and hold the weapon release button and pull up in a relatively general but accurate and non-deviating climb. When the CP714 decides it's time to drop the bombs, it will drop them and they should hit the target. At that point, we will pull off to the side as fast as we can, deploy flares, and in theory, none of us should be shot. Left hip, air to ground radar to air to ground. Remove stick. Weapons rotary to labs. Master arm on. Be trim. Weapons pylon, all of them on today. Dropping 12 bombs and arm the bombs. Next, we're going to set our ripple up. We're going to release all 12 bombs with 150 milliseconds in between. On the ripple, single. Cap ready. Cortana, we are following you. Please lead us in. Roger. Bumping up the power. Like we said at the beginning, the faster and higher you dive in from, the better. Uh, the earlier we can drop the bombs. When we are in range to drop the bombs, a little yellow in range sign will show where I've got the cursor there. We found about the fastest you can get generally with this kind of loadout is 400 knots. If you just took one bomb, you could probably get 600 knots nearly and uh, toss it a lot further. And it's key when we're doing the pull-up to keep as laterally level as possible because uh, that will adjust the aim. Pushing up to full power. Full power. Full power. Lead starting dive. Two dive. Three's diving. Radar locked. Radar locked. Radar locked. In range. In range. Have not to buy us left. Pull. Bombs away. Bombs away. And pull out. I went right through Cortana's bombs there. It's so funny. Okay. I'm going to leave the cockpit and try and watch those bombs. Oh, it's looking good, guys. It's looking really good. Oh, first one's a slightly left. Boom, 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 boom. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, yes! My ones are really good. Simba's down. Well done, guys. If it look, I mean, I know it sounds stupid missing a runway being such a big target, but it is really hard. Go and try it yourself. If you can see the lateral inaccuracy there, that's simply the bias in the pilot, you know, when you pull up. If you've got the tiniest bit of left stick or the tiniest bit of right stick, you know, just a fraction of a degree will send you out like that. 
uh, you know, 100 feet. And that is, is a very difficult thing that you need training to do. But the main thing we're trying to get through is that, yes, this isn't amazingly accurate, but we can drop bombs on a relatively large target and get them all pretty much in the right place with no threat to ourselves. I know I crashed. I wasn't in the, in the thing, obviously. Uh, and those trailers never even thought about firing us. Wind correction, uh, the valued viewers are asking about. You've got to do that all yourself, I think, Cortana. I don't think the CP714 can do wind. I'm not sure if the computer itself was able to do it, but in DCS it is not. Roger. That's it. I'm chuffed about that. Go and do it. It's really good fun, and you can get really good after a while. Any final thoughts, anyone, before I sign off? Nope. Nope. Bye. Mm.